hello blessed family you're welcome once again to my youtube channel my name is bola if you're coming across my channel for the very first time you are welcome on this channel i upload diys cutting and sewing tutorials please before you go kindly click on the subscribe button and to my returning subscribers i'm grateful for the show of love at all times and I pray that God bless you and yours in Jesus' name. Amen. So today, I'll be working on this fabric, this lace fabric. I'll be making a straight gown. I'll be using this to make uh, a straight gown. It's not actually, I have been adding some inches to the gown. I'm not, it's not a fitted gown. I'm not going to make it fitted. I'll be making a straight gown. And then... This line here, I'll be starting from this line, which is my guideline rule. And the length of the gown I'm making is uh, about 55 inches. 55 inches. That is my gown length. five inches and I'll be folding this I'll be cutting these edges away I'll be folding this the, the remaining one inch allowance I'll be folding it here okay so let's get started I folded my fabrics into four I first of all folded into two I first of all folded into two I then fold over again into four. I'm not adding zipper to the gown. I'm not adding a zipper to it. Hence, there's no need for the a zipper allowance. Okay. The middle part here will be for my neckline. This will be for my neckline. And this side for my handhold. All right, the folded part here is for my neck area, the neck area, and this part here is to the side where I'll be measuring out the handhold and the side measurements. Okay. So very quickly, I'll be going through the lines I have here. As I've told you earlier that the first line here is my guideline rule, which I'll be starting my markings from the next line here is the waistline and i have 18 inches for my waistline i have 18 inches for my waistline and 24.5 inches for the hip line this is the hip line which is 24.5 all right the next thing for me to do here is to mark my shoulder measurements the shoulder measurement I'm working with is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2. We are dividing our shoulder measurement by 2, which is 8 inches. I'll be having half inch sewing, sewing allowance to it. That is 8.5. On that 8.5 mark, I'm going to mark my arm hole. Arm hole of 9 inches. I haven't done that i'm going to take my neck measurements i'm working with uh, four inches width for the front neck line i'll be taking a depth of uh, five inches for the front neck line i'll take a depth of five inches And 
for the back neckline, I'll be taking a depth of three inches. I'll take my shoulder slope of one inch. I'm going to connect to this point. That's my shoulder slope. And on my hand hole line, I'm going to determine the midpoint. I'm left with eight inches. The midpoint is four. I'll be taking my ammo curve from this four. Note I'm grafting on the wrong side of the fabric. I'm grafting on the wrong side of the fabric. Okay. Having done that, I'll then proceed to take my body circumference measurements. On this ammo line, I'll be taking my bust measurements. Bust of 12 inches, I'm adding 2.5. I'll also take my waist measurements. I also had 2.5. I'm adding 2.5 to it because it's actually a free gown. It's a free gown. I'll also take my hip measurements. I also had 2.5. I'm going to note whatever I have on my hip line. That's 14.5. And we'll be taking it at the end. I'll be taking it at the end of the gown. I'll then connect the points together. I'll be connecting all the dotted lines together.
Okay. I will connect it together. I won't connect it together. I will then cut out. Before I cut out, on this shoulder line, I'll be joining, I'll be adding 0 0.5 inch for my shoulder joining. I'll be adding 0 0.5 for the shoulder joining. I'll then cut out. So I've cut it out. I've cut it out and then um, for the neckline, I first of all cut out for the back. I will then remove one piece. <coughs> this is what I have. I've trimmed the SS fabric at the end of the dress. I've trimmed it off. So I'm going to remove one piece now. Is the neckline for the front. If you can see it, so I'll then be cutting for the front. I need to keep this. So when I open it up, this is what I have. This is what I have. I'll be lining the fabric. I'm going to check if I have the color of this fabric. I'll prefer to line it. So to beautify the front piece, I'll be adding some ruffles. I cut that about five inches. I'm going to be folding the excess. I cut that about five inches. So I'm going to be pleating it. I made uh, some markings from the neckline, like two inches away from the neckline. I took about two inches away from the neckline. So I'll be gab uh, pleating this to the front part to beautify the front piece. So when I finish, this is how it's going to look. I'll be adding this to the front. I'm going to set this aside now to cut out the sleeve. So to cut out my sleeve, I folded this fabric into four. I'm cutting the two sleeves all together. I folded it into four. And I have about 22 inches. I have about 22 inches length for the sleeve. I have about 22 inches length for the sleeve. I'll be determining my cap height. I'm using five inches for my cap height. Cap height. I'm making a very bogus sleeve. I'm not taking the round sleeve measurement. I'll just make it straight from this end. I'll make it straight. I have 13 inches here. This is the midpoint. I'm 
making a very bogus sleeve so i'm not i don't need the round sleeve measurements so this is what i'll be cutting out for the sleeve okay i'll cut it out I'll notch the midpoint. I'm notching that point. So I have the two sleeves. At the end of each sleeve, I'm going to be taking my fabric. I'm going to I'll be using this leftover piece of fabric to make a band. So I'm going to I'll, I'll I'm going to pleat the end of this. I'll be using the band to fit it. I'll be making a band for the end of the pleat, end of the sleeve rather. So. I'll be pleating this sleeve and I'll be adding a band to it. So I'm going to set this sleeve aside. I'll start uh, putting the pieces together. I'll be showing you the end result of my dress. Thank you very much. I believe you have learned one or two things from this video. Please remember to click on the subscribe button and I will see you in my next one. Bye.